Fiat Millicentes fuel system time. Right, so here is our freshly repaired and redone fuel tank. And this is the original fuel sender out of the car. It's obviously seen better days as uh, you all can tell. So we'll just say see you later to that. Anyway, when you order the new ones for this, no one makes the actual correct one anymore. So this is the one they send you with a pickup and everything on it. Now we're gonna reuse our original pickup in the original location, which goes right here. But we'll talk about that later. So this is the sender they send you. And a lot of people with these cars say, you need to flip your fo float around, trim this pickup, which we can cut it off all the way up to here, because we're not even gonna use it. And we're gonna cap it off here and then try to make it work. So, so far we have one that we've cut off. I've took the float completely off of it for right now just to fit and mess with it. And no matter what way you go, it still hits. So what we're going to do which is what we've been instructed by the seller of these, is to put a bend right here, like a 45, to get the electronics away from the angle in the tank here. And then we will put a little twist on this so the float is level again. It's gonna be a lot of test and mock, test and mock. test fit it and we have room obviously we can move it get it where we want it and then we just need to square up our float and this baby will work just fine okay, here you can see the difference from out of the box to uh, our engineering engineering um because well when somebody doesn't make anything for it, you gotta kinda make it yourself. So we're gonna trial fit this and see. Just about there. I think if we put a little more bend on it, we will clear. But man, we're close. It's in. It's a very tight fit. Um, I guess you could call it the virgin on prom night, but it's in, it works. Now to or orient our float and level it out, and then we'll tighten this up and we'll start reassembling. Okay, so there it is, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna, ah, we're gonna twist this for our float to make it square with the top and uh let's see what we got bend so we are fairly square to the top of the sender i'm gonna put our float in it see which way she fits best and button this baby up Empty. We're gonna be just fine. It's all bolted in. Nice and snug. Remember always to do these just like you would a wheel. Do a star pattern and then get it down nice and easy. Don't go cranking one all the way. Just a little bit. So it spreads that load. We're gonna put a hose clamp here just to seal this off. Because we don't need another vent and then we will put all our fuel pickup back in its home done deal just wanted to show the 
differences here. Obviously, this is what we start with. And this is where we have to end up. All to replace this guy who is non-existent. Non-existent. Is what it is. Gotta make stuff work. Especially on stuff that's next to impossible to find parts for. Level sender check. Fuel pickup check. We did put just a little bit of sealant around it, along with a gasket that, of course, nobody makes, so we made one. Um, so that's all sealed, ready to go. Put the screen off of the level sender pickup combination on the bottom of our pickup. So we got fresh clean screen. This is all ready to go where it's supposed to go. Again, I'm gonna throw a clamp on here. And then we gotta do our vent and our filler neck. And in a very short while, we will be firing up the Milisanto. Milisanto, Milisanto, tomato, tomato. Classic Fiat. She's cool. She's cool. Then we'll be moving over to Izzy the Isetta. And don't, don't pay attention to what's over here. Don't pay attention to this. These are not the droids you were looking for. That's top secret, but that's a lot of fun in the future. Milesanto, Milesanto. I'm uh, not European, so I don't know how to pronounce things. It's one of them near Fiat's though. underneath back under down yonder way anyway checking for voltage we don't have any on either wire even when we have a good solid ground so when you turn the key when everything's hooked up the fuel level on the gauge cluster goes all the way immediately to the top so I'm gonna pull the cluster out and start chasing power from the back to the cluster. Well, actually from the red wire goes to the reserve. Here, let me turn the camera around and I'll show you. Goes to the reserve light here. The black and yellow is the actual rheostat, which sends your level. Now it's full, full, all the way, no light on. And I'm having trouble getting voltage back at the tank. So I'm going to pull the cluster out because I looked at the diagram. And it goes from sending unit. Red goes sending unit to the reserve light. From the reserve light to the switch. The ignition switch. And black and yellow goes from sending unit to gauge to back of switch. So I'm gonna pull a cluster out, check for voltage back there, and start chasing the ignition switch on Fiona Fiat. Right here is a common 12 volt lead for the cluster itself. Let's see, that's the back of the gauge. That's the warning light. So that's common and has voltage when I have the key on. So I'm assuming we have bad, bad ground back there. We have everything hooked up here on the fuel system for the sender. This is for the gauge. This is for the warning light. This is the ground we made just to ensure that the unit itself is getting ground. Uh, everything works there. Our power on the other end here, our uh, resistance rather, 
is working fine. Same with if we provide voltage here, it'll trip and trigger up there. Problem is, is we don't have power in the gauge itself. So time to chase our way through. But first we're gonna hook this all up, get it in there, put fuel in it so we can at least run the car and drive. Back all hooked up, the vent's hooked up, just put fuel in it. Um, there is no gasoline lake like we had prior. So things are coming along. We're just gonna prime her and get her fired up. Yeah, it's running! Woo! 